This is Jack Allen from SAFE at one of our local fire stations. Being a firefighter is a challenging and rewarding job. And today, the crew is getting ready for the day's activities. We open our story with the captain talking to his crew. Good morning. Today I'm going to need a volunteer to go out and inspect the house where we had a fire. Let's see. Jim, how about you? Sure, I'll go. Can I take Big Red with me? Good idea. He should be a lot of help. Well, Big Red is a talking fire hydrant used by many fire departments to teach fire safety. We return to our story with the captain and Jim looking for Big Red. I wonder where he is. He could be in the storage room. Let's check. I don't see him. Uh, what was that noise? Is that you, Big Red? Help! I'm trapped! Somebody has thrown a blanket over me, and I don't know if it is night or day. Here, I'll help you. There. Thank you. I'll need your help. Mrs. Reeves had a fire, and you are to go with Jim to her house and check to see if it's fire safe. Good idea. I am an expert on fire safety. Jim and Big Red left in the fire car. We return to our story with them approaching Mrs. Reeves' house. Come on, Big Red. But, but I, I think she might have a vicious dog. <laughs> Come on. If she has a dog, it's probably a small one. But, 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 but... Why, hello. You must be from the fire department. <sighs> You come to inspect my house. Yes, I'm Inspector Jim. And this is my fire safety expert, Big Red. Well, come right on in. This is Spot. He's very friendly, but I don't think he's ever seen a talking fire hydrant before. Big Red is new to our department. He's an expert on fire safety. Uh, where was your fire? Come this way. It started in the bedroom from my portable heater. I see what the problem was. The heater was too close to the bed. When the covers fell off the bed, they landed on the heater. Portable heaters and baseboard heaters can be very dangerous. There should be at least one foot clearance from all types of heaters. Well, it's a good thing I had a smoke detector mounted on the ceiling near the bedroom. Let's check it, see if it still works. Smoke detector should be checked twice a month. Uh-oh! Extension cords should not run under rugs or through doorways. You mean that can start a fire? Yes, Mrs. Reeves. They can become frayed, and when the wires touch each other, they could spark and start a fire. Jim, let's show Mrs. Reeves that movie. I have to let her know what to do in case there is a fire at night and you are in bed. Good idea. Here, let me open the door. Now, let's see, which button do I push? It must be this one. No, no, no! Uh-oh, uh wrong button. <laughs> Sorry, Big Red. Must be this green button. you're in bed, you smell smoke or see flame, or if your smoke detector goes off, get off the bed onto the floor. Stay low. Crawl over to the door on your hands and knees. Feel the door. If it's hot, do not open it. Go to another exit. Every bedroom is required to have two exits, and in most bedrooms, your other exit will be a window. If you're on the second floor or higher, you might even need an escape ladder to get to the ground. Remember, there are probably other people in the house, and you need to yell and make sure that everyone is aware that there is a fire. Once you get out of that house, never go back in. 
but go to your meeting place, which should be located in the front of the house. Now, if someone should be missing from the meeting place, still, don't go back in. When the fire department arrives, you can tell them if everybody is out or if somebody is missing. The first job of the firefighter is to rescue. And if you tell them that somebody is missing, they'll grab their masks and their air bottle and go into that house and search and rescue. And if you can't get out of your house, stay by a window as close to the floor as possible. And remember, the fire department will rescue you. Wow, I can see how important it is to know your two exits out of your bedroom. Well, uh, let's check your kitchen. When cooking, be careful not to catch your clothes on fire. If they do, stop, drop, and roll. I always try to keep the handles on the top of the stove pointing to the side so that nobody will accidentally hit them and knock them to the floor. Good idea! What about unplugging your appliances when not using them? Uh-oh, sometimes I leave them plugged in. Appliances should always be unplugged when not in use. <coughs> Calm down, Spot. They're checking to make sure our house is fire safe. Let's check the front room. I notice you have baseboard heaters. Make sure you keep your furniture at least one foot away. All heaters are dangerous if things that can burn are placed too close to them. What about matches or cigarette lighters? Oh, I keep them up high on a shelf away from smaller children. Good idea. They are dangerous. I notice you have a screen on your fireplace. I always use it. I know a spark could land on the rug and start a fire. Fire is dangerous. Always use the screen. What about ashtrays? Well, I don't smoke, but when I have somebody over that does, I have these safe ashtrays. They're the ones that will have the cigarette fall inside if you forget about them. Good idea. You should always check behind your cushions if someone smokes to make sure ashes did not fall down in between the cushions. If they did, you could have a fire that could burn slowly for several hours unnoticed. And then, after you've gone to sleep, it could break out into flames. Let's check your garage. Okay, it's this way, Jim. You too, Big Red. Your garage looks nice and clean, but uh, I notice you have a lot of stuff stored next to the furnace. That could be dangerous. There is a flame underneath and you could have a fire. Oh, I'll remove the stuff right away. You know, I keep the lawnmower, gas, and paint out in the shed in the backyard. Good idea. I think this house is fire safe. Since I had that fire, I've tried to be very careful. I'm going to leave this fire safety checklist with you. Your house looks fire safe, but Anyone can have a fire, even if they are very careful. Jim and Big Red left Mrs. Reeves' house. They felt that by having checked Mrs. Reeves' house, it was going to be fire safe. When they returned to the station, Jim opened the door to the storage area and told Big Red not to get caught in the corner where the blanket had been thrown over the top of him. Next time I go check for fire hazards, I'll take you with me again. Thanks, Jim. Everyone should check their home to make sure it is fire safe. Well, you guessed it. When Jim closed the door, the blankets fell over Big Red. And now, Big Red doesn't know when it is day or night. But he is waiting for the day when he again can go out and help teach fire safety.